Hello everybody, this is your artist Rep Yvonne with a foxy face paint design. First, we're going to start off with some superstar white and a three quarter inch flat brush. We're going to create some upward strokes through the nose and through the eye. You're going to angle them a little bit. This is going to create the shape of the fox. We're going to create about three strokes, two going up and then one swiping it slightly down. Then we're going to take a sponge and we're just going to smooth that out, blend it in nicely. And we do the same thing on the other side. Next, I'm going to take this one stroke from Krivelin and my same three quarter inch flat brush. I'm going to swipe it through, just grab a very little of the black. This is going to help outline the fox. So we're going to start off at the center of the nose. Make sure you keep the black on the outside so it helps you outline that area. You don't have to go back in with any black. Just flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. And then with that same one stroke, we're going to reload a little bit. We're going to create the ears. So do two little petal shapes and connect them. Do the same thing on the other side. And then add a little bit of black from that same brush in the middle. Now that we're done with that, we're going to grab some Superstar Orange on a sponge. And we're going to go ahead and blend it in the middle. Now this is going to give it some more dimension. We have some yellow, some orange, a little bit of black. It's going to look really nice. Blend it into the nose as well. Now we're going to grab our BAM number 2005 stencil. These pretty swirls look amazing. And some tag gold. And we're just going to create some swirls to give it some interest. So go ahead and place it across the forehead. Make sure it's dry. And just tap it in. It's best that your sponge is not too wet so that you don't get a drippy design. And I'm going to go ahead and use that same stencil around the cheeks just to give it a little more interest. Looks nice. Perfect. Now we're going to grab our number three low Cornell brush with some wolf black and we're going to start doing some lining. Load it up nicely, make sure it's not too drippy. Now we're going to do the nose. This is how I like to do the nose on my fox. You could do a cute little round nose, you could do a triangle nose, whatever you like, whatever works best for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and line the side of the mask all the way to the tip. Now you can go through the nose if you wanted to, I choose not to. Next I'm going to go ahead and do some nice foxy liner. Now if it's a boy you don't have to angle it out that much, but if it's a girl I definitely would. You want to make this look as foxy as possible, as flirty as possible. Same thing on the other side guys. Now that we're done with that, next step is going to be lining the head. Now what I like to do is just swipe across and then kind of end it a little bit rounded inward towards the ears. And then with the flicking upward motion, we're going to define the ears a little bit more on the inside. Now I'm going to add some lashes because this is a foxy girl. If it's a boy, you don't have to add lashes unless they want to. And this is completely optional. Next is the lips. I'm going to grab some red. You can grab any color. I always like to ask the kids what color of lips they want. Q-tips are always to go, very sanitary. And there you go. You have a nice little foxy mask that you can use at any fall event. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit www.facepaintforumshop.com.